What was your name again, dude? Before we get going, uh, King Trip. King Trip. What's the name of that? Okay, okay. Message? I've done that before, dude. Where I've <laughs> intro to podcast and didn't even know his name. Yeah, yeah, I feel it. I feel it. <laughs> Cause like, I don't even know my own fucking lyrics and shit sometimes, bro. That's, why, that's good. I feel it. It, it was he hit me up, and then he was like, "I want to come on podcast," and then I was like, "All right, cool, dude. I'll, I'll get you on." Yeah. I was gonna get him on probably in a couple weeks because I had some guests lined up. Yeah. But all the guests like canceled on me, and so I needed I needed a show real quick, and I yeah. hit him up. I was like, "Yo, come on." And then I didn't really have time to like put it together any kind of show yeah. or anything like that. And so when he showed up, I I didn't even realize it, bro, until I was like, "Yeah, and I have a great guest here with me. His name is." <laughs> the fuck's your name? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. "Fuck, dude! I never got his fucking yeah, name, yeah, bro." Yeah, really. <laughs> mm. It's crazy because I meet hella people, and they'll be like, "What's up, bro?" And I feel like I'm meeting them for the first time. I bet I was good, you know. And they'll tell me like a story. I'm like, "Fuck." We met. They're like, yeah, we hella chilled like before. I'm like, oh shit, <laughs> my bad, bro. Yes, probably, you're probably gonna do that to me, right? We'll see. We'll, we'll see what happens. <laughs> I'm gonna see you again. Like, yo, what's good, bro? Did you like the episode? You be like, what episode? Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Sit Down Podcast. If you're watching this on YouTube, yes, I am wearing the same shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wearing the same shirt, guys. Three weeks in a row, same shirt, no fucks given. <laughs> nah, it's because I've, I'm recording these back to back, back to back. You know, like Drake said, back to back, right? You got to get a bang for your buck as a podcaster. When you're traveling around, you have to get as much in as you can. That's just how it works. Um, if you didn't know that, now you know. Um, if you want to become a podcaster, you got to be willing to sit down and talk for hours on hours. This is the name of the game. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for tuning in, man. Thank you for hitting play. Um, I hope you like my YouTube thumbnail. I hope you like the promotion <laughs> up to this point because you've made it this far. Um, but yeah, guys, I have another great guest. I don't know what week this is. Um, I forgot what day this was earlier. <laughs> I thought it was Saturday, goddamn. It feels like one because I'm having so much fun on this mic, man. I'm um, just doing what I love. Um, I love doing this. I had This is a surprise episode, honestly. I, I'm going to put bonus next to this because this is a bonus episode. Yeah. Did not even know this dude until I walked into this place that you're seeing. Uh, Studio 33, uh, room 33, Studio 33. It's one of those. It's in Santa Maria. It's the only one, guys. Can't miss it. Um, So if you're an artist, man, hit up my last guest, Lil Bones. If you want to go find him, um, you can find him in my description. But anyways, anyways, anyways. This guest here today, like I said, it just fucking meant... Didn't know his name until I walked in the studio, but I've been hearing his album, and he's definitely someone to reckon with. Um, he speaks Spanish on you guys, man. He really flexes that shit, man. You ever heard of, um, what's his name? The dude that won the Netflix competition? Um, do you know who I'm talking about? The nah, dude who won I Netflix? know what show you're talking about, but I didn't, I didn't watch the whole shit, though. Yeah, he spoke Spanish on that mm-hmm. bitch, really flexing it, man. So I'm glad you're doing it, bro. No, that's like a comedian. No, he, had, he had dreads. What was his name? Um, D something. D Smoke? Oh yeah. D Smoke? Yep. Yeah. yeah. I wanna say Pop Smoke, but I know it's not Pop Smoke. It's mm-hmm. D Smoke, right? Huh? Was it rhythm and flow? Mm-hmm. Yeah, rhythm yeah. and flow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He he really watched he really killed it because he was speaking Spanish. Yeah. And so this dude did that, man. He was really flexing on him. He has a great album coming out, what it sounds like. I think I just dropped something I wasn't supposed to. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> so I might not make it out here, guys. <laughs> we'll see, I'm bro. playing. I'm playing. Um, but yeah, guys, I have a great guest. Without no further ado, um, I'll let him introduce himself to you. Um, that was a bar on accident. Um, King Trip, guys. King Trip, welcome to the Sit Down Podcast, man. How you doing? How you feeling? Yo, what's good, bro? We chilling, bro. <laughs> we chilling. <laughs> what's Shit. a Sunday like for you right now? It's like this, bro. Crown row in the cup. Cheers, my boy. Cheers, we my good. guy. Thank you for coming on, man. Mm-hmm. Such at a short notice, too. Yeah. I mean, that's the best shit, though. Man, so I have no idea anything about you, dude. So let me, uh, first thing I want to ask. Yeah. What are the face tats? What did it say? Is that okay to ask? <clears throat> yeah, the face tats. Ah, <laughs> uh, bro. I mean, this one here says uh, "muy raro," so it's very rare in Spanish. Uh, Overlord. That's the name of my album, my last album. No way. Yeah, yeah. So uh, then it's very rare, which is the same one as this. It's okay. CA, California. Shit, I just got very rare on. I got my, I mean, shit, my brand's on me hella times, bro. So I got it on my face twice. I got, I got my city on my head, 
My daughter's name's on my head. I got you got head tats? Yeah, yeah. We we in here, bro. Oh <laughs> shit! Yeah, you know what I mean. But yeah, as far as my face tats, I got I got my brand on me twice in English and Spanish. I got a, I got my kids' names. I got their lips on me. I got I got my city on me. <clears throat> And my logo again, bro. I'm a t- I'm like six nine, but the good six nine, bro. I fucking, I got my shit on me. I rep my shit hard, bro. Hey, what, what I, is, got, I actually got little bones on the beat right here. Little bones on the beat. Yeah, that's my nephew. Yes, See, sir. You know, I got to support, bro. You know what I mean? So the brand is what exactly? Very rare. Very rare. So very rare would be. Um, you got little bones. You got King Trip. You got like absurd, which is my cousin right here. Like we we got all all our peoples, but uh. For most people, if you ask them, like, do you know them? They're going to be like, yeah, very rare, you know, uh, Room 33. Like, right. So we all have our own identities, but at the same time, we all have, like, a hub, which is, like, very rare, Room 33, uh, you know. Like you know a base. I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we all have our own identities, but we all have our own brands at the same time. So very rare would be mine. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And how'd you come up with that? <clears throat> I feel like uh, I've always made music, bro. I've always made music, and I... Uh, when I thought it was time to really take it serious and come out as an artist, first of all, I had to think of a name. I used to be Trip, Young Trip. And I thought if I'm going to really put my name on something, like I got to come up with something dope. I couldn't shake the Trip because that's like a name that was given to me. You know, you get a name they give you and that's the name you get. And, you know, you know, and that was my name. So I couldn't change the Trip. But it's like, if I'm going to be Trip, I'm going to be the king of this shit, bro. Like King Trip. So I added the king to it. And then I also knew I needed to come up with, like, a brand. I wanted to make clothes. I wanted to make, like, a not a record label, but I wanted to just have, like, a hub for everything. So I, I was trying to think of something. I was trying to think of a name, and I wrote down on the paper, like, I need something that signifies, like, like very rare, something that's very rare. And I went forever, like, what? what's another way to say very rare? And in the end, I was like, shit, very rare, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> it was there the whole time, you know? Right so, in your face. Yeah, there you go. That's how I came up with that, but, yeah. So that's what I've been pushing, just very rare music. Very rare music. Yeah. Okay. And when did you kind of, um, because you said you've been doing music for a while. How long has yeah. that actually been? Yeah, I feel like me and him, which is my cousin, we came, man, we hit the studio. We were like 15, we were like 13, 14. We were recording on a little boom box and shit. Then at one point, uh, we knew <laughs> someone who was, who had like a studio, like ties to a studio. So we tapped in. We are probably like, 15 16 at that point we recorded our first song and then uh we've been recording since then but i feel like i didn't take it serious i didn't be like i'm gonna try to really be an artist till man maybe it's only been like four maybe like five six years at the most that i've been like you know uh-huh. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna actually try to push this shit like right yeah i so, really love how you just said only yeah like five six years or something just like nah because we do it we've been doing it forever like if you ask me how long i've been rapping we've been hella rapping bro like forever but when i felt like uh i feel like i need to actually take a take a real shot at shit it's only been like five years you know yeah yeah but it, and i say only because you get better every day bro like you could start you could start 10 years from now and you get better 10 years later like i feel like i'm barely i'm barely at a point where where I should be putting shit out and my shit's really hitting right now. And like, I feel like I'm at my best right now, fucking 10, 12 years later, you know? Right. Like, yeah. So yeah, I dude. started a long time ago, but right now is where I want you to hear me, is what I'm trying to say. Mm, like, yeah. It was it was a long cocooning stage. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. And that's honestly, dude, right off the rip, like, I mean, we're, we're what, 15 minutes into knowing each other. Yeah. Um, but right off the rip, just like that phrasing, bro, is very important because, mm. like, only five years in, like, if you were to tell somebody, like, you're not going to get good until, like, five years from now, they're going to be like, well, I ain't going to fucking do it. Right, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? So your yeah. perception of time and and all that is really great, bro. That's a, that's a strong mentality to have, especially in something where it's, like, it's crafting, bro. It's, like, yeah. creative. It's hard work. It's, like, music is a very hard industry not to only right. break into, but to even fucking do. Yeah, no, for sure. I feel like I've been through hella stages, like... You start rapping, you you gotta find yourself, bro. You gotta find yourself. You gotta find your sound. You gotta find what works for you. And I've been through hell of stages, like, and I feel like I've barely in the last few years found who I am. I found what beats I need to be on, and you know, and that's when I started pursuing shit. Like when I figured out who I am, where I sound good, 
you know, and that's when I was like, all right, this is what I'm going to do, bro. And, you know, it don't matter that I've been doing this for 10 plus years because to me, I've really only been doing this shit for like two, three years because this is who I am. I found myself and I need, and you know what I mean? Like I've been applying my, myself and my talents to to this. Mm, how can I say it, bro? Like, like I've been doing it forever, but I feel like I really only been doing it for like two, three, four, five years because mm. that's when I got really serious about it. Is what right. I'm trying to say, like, yeah. What are some of the? Can you speak to me about a little bit of like um, about those phases and kind of speaking to other younger artists that might be going through that right now? Like, what is that like? And like, what what are some of your, what were your thought processes going into them and coming yeah. out of them? Like, what were some of those phases about? That you kind of had to go through. I mean, me personally, I started when I was young, so I didn't know how to find a beat. I didn't even know what kind of beats I sounded better on. The basics. Yeah, like we we're doing a lot of sampling, using a lot of shit that already existed. Like, for me, it was finding beats, finding out what you sound better on, what you sound best on, and, and shit like that, bro. Right. Like, you go into it young, and you kind of just take what you could get. You know, I feel like nowadays it's a lot easier for people. You come in and there's already people like Bones. Like, you can go right to Bones and he's going to direct you to where you need to be, like, instantly. Coached up. Right, yeah, yeah. Whereas when I started, I had to figure out where to get beats and I took whatever I could and I recorded wherever I could type shit. And it was like, a lot harder back then. Yeah, now you can buy, you can go to the store right now and buy a fucking studio, bro, and, and connect that shit and you're on, bro. And it's just talent. You know what at I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, it wasn't like that for us, bro. We had to we had to take what we could, and and I felt like it's cool though because it helped me grow. And I feel super comfortable where I'm at now. Like, give me any beat, and if I ain't fucking with it, I ain't fucking with it. Like, I know where I need to be and shit. And it took a long time to figure that out, bro. Like, I feel like a lot of people nowadays just jump in the shit, and I don't want to say it's handed to them, but like we we really put the work in and shit to yeah. to to know where my sound is and where I need to be. And I feel like that's why I'm so good at what I do, bro. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, sure. that conf- that confidence and that groundwork is very important. Yeah. You know, because I, I like I was speaking to Bones about, like, I feel like people, sp- I mean, with anything, as long as you stick to it, you're spending your own entire life to figure out how to do music like you. Yeah. So you imitate other people. You you try these things because that person did that. You try these, and you're always just trying to, like, figure out how you do it yeah yeah for sure exactly. you know what i mean and yeah. that took you 10 years yeah and i hope that speaks to everybody that's listening right now especially if you're an artist especially if you're creative like this shit does not happen overnight like it does not happen within an instant yeah you might go viral and get popped but you don't want that to happen too early yeah yeah because if it happens to like, imagine if that happened to you seven years ago you're three years in and you just popped off of one song yeah like where would you be at now like you know, no backing, bro, yeah. no, you know, not, no vision of who you are. Like yeah. that's how people get lost in that shit. I mean, nothing against that. If you if you blow up off your no, first yeah, yeah, song, yeah. this shit more power to you, bro. But I feel like when I get into the studio, or I, I'm bro, I'm not nervous for shit, bro. Like when it comes to me, I be in the studio with people and and they get nervous, bro, and they be like, "Fuck, I'm nervous. I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to do this." Or like, bro, I'll go anywhere, bro. I don't care where you put me, bro. I'm just, I know what I could do. I'm confident, and I feel like all that time put me there. Like, yeah, you know what I mean. So, I mean, you got ten years of work behind you. Yeah, bro. yeah, that's, for sure. That's yeah. something for sure to lean into. Bro. Yeah, for sure. That's yeah. something to lean into because that's that's your advantage. Yeah, it's your advantage, man. For oh, sure. Bro. Who inspired you to even get into music? Like, how'd you find it? Was it like a family member? Was it like an artist? Nah, like, nah, you don't know. I mean, I don't know. How shit, we've been doing. Man, if I could think back, I, f- I don't know where we started, bro. We just, <laughs> I tell you, man, man, this, man, this fool right here, we just kind of just turned the shit on one day, huh? We're like, fuck it, let's rap. Like, <laughs> it's kind of like we just always knew we could, even though we didn't know we could, if that right. makes sense. We, like, like yeah, like, yeah, it's just, it, it was just there, bro. This so your we cousin started. Too, right? It's my cousin, yeah, it's my cousin, yeah. Name? Absurd. Absurd? We got, we got his cousin over here, Absurd, in the back, so. That's that's who you hear in the background. Um, I don't care if you you can chime in anytime you want, but you can sit right here if you want to get in. If you, it don't matter, man. Yeah, that's all good. <laughs> Mysterious. <laughs> yeah, we got absurd in the background. Nah, for Being sure. Absurd. But, no. Yeah, but I mean, it just kind of felt like we always knew we could do it, and like I said, we started on a little boombox. Like, yeah, we found beats like Napster, LimeWire, shit like. LimeWire, bro. Yeah, bro. Like we we're getting the, beats, the, the like yeah. AIDS version of your. Com- <laughs> That's right. how you get your computer AIDS. <laughs> yeah, bro. Like 
that's where we started and we just i don't know i i feel like i just remember like always feeling like fuck we need a rap for whatever reason like i just felt like we <laughs> needed to and we you. could yeah and that's where we started and i took a lot of uh inspiration from people like um i was into like uh like a lot of texas shit like at the time where i could think back i was into like spm like baby bash like like luciano like that's who uh who kind of reeled me into this shit like i wanted to be like them I, I liked what they sounded like and i felt like shit that's what i'm gonna pursue like to me it was always like player shit and it always stuck to me like fuck it i could do that player shit bro like yeah and that's what i still do now like if you hear my shit like i'm just like the best at player shit bro yeah like, and I just always stuck to that. And I could always think back to them. Like, that's what made me want to do it personally. Yeah. Yeah, yeah see, sure. that's the type of music I'm into. I'm into that, like, because if I was going to make music, I'd make music get girls. Right. For sure, yeah. <laughs> that's what I would do. I mean, I'll be making love songs and shit, but still, like, I feel like my fan base is mainly girls. Like, for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got to have that sound. I, I think it was, I forgot who fucking said it. It might have, I think they were, I, I want to say it was Drake, but it wasn't Drake. It was, they were saying it about Drake. Um, basically, like a great way is to build your fan base around girls first then dudes second yeah they'll follow for sure yeah yeah, yeah. that's what i'm saying like the guys are gonna hate bro but if, if the girls be liking this shit wherever you're at bro like they're gonna be like fuck it turn that shit up like you know what i mean yeah for and sure and the dude's gonna want to hear it because like exactly. he, that's what is the girl like exactly <laughs> yeah bro. i remember that that was like my whole thing at first with the podcasting thing yeah but then I'm like, yo, it's way hard to make like girly talk. I don't know. How, so I was like, fuck it. I'm just, whoever comes and listens, listens. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> that was just me overthinking, though. Yeah. You know, you know every, I think everybody overthinks shit until you just, like I said, you got to get comfortable with shit. You just got to do it. Yeah, for sure. Just got to do it. So when did you start uh, getting all uh, inked up? What was some of the first mm, ones? Damn, bro. I think I was like maybe like 16. I got my first. Uh, when we started, me and my cousin and the other homie, Bizzle, the hustler, we started as a group. Like, I'm telling you all these stories. Like, we were a group called Fading Habits. So I got my first tat. I was, like, 16. I got that tat. And then from there, I, I just kind of feel like I got addicted to it. And I just kept getting more and more. And I'm still getting tattoos to this day, so. You seem to really believe in what you say. Yeah. I just feel like, to me, I don't know, like, a lot of people see, like, tattoos as a bad thing. And, yeah, I get it when you're trying to get a job and shit like that, but. I've been getting tattoos since way back then, bro. And I, I'm I got tattoos in all the worst places, and it don't bother me, bro. Like straight up, like I ain't tripping, bro. I got tattoos on my head, my face, my neck, my hands, my arms. Like it's whatever, bro. I just I'm a tattoo collector at this point, and I'm gonna keep <laughs> going. Like I I don't even care to stop. Yeah, that's pretty fire, tattoo yeah. collector. I never I never heard a phrase like that. Yeah, for sure. That's pretty hard. That might be the name of the episode. Hey, get tattoo it. Tattoo collector. But you know, because I feel like it's like, like I'm a book, bro. Like, I have tats that I don't even like. Uh, <clears throat> if I look back at them, like, shit, I ain't even tripping. Like, I got that shit when I was so young or like at a, at a point in my life where that meant, meant something. And maybe it might not now, but it's, it's like a book, bro. Like, you're reading you're reading right. the chapters of shit, you know? Like, and that's how I look at my tattoos. And that's shit. pretty hard, dude. So yeah. it's like you have a visual memory. Right. And for a sure. visual, yeah. like, permanent thing on yeah. your body to remind you of so i could look at a tat and remember where i was at that point like mentally like you know spiritually yeah. and shit yeah and that's that's how i look at my tattoos that's kind of crazy and not to get a little dark but like when like you pass and someone looks over like your body they can see your life right, story yeah. written on you or even then like i got my brother on me on my hand right here like he passed like i got the cancer symbol like yeah i got my brand like every time i feel like shit this is my brand bro boom i got it right here like you know what it's my brand, bro. Like, fuck it, boom. Like, I got yeah. it on me like four or five times. I'm gonna get more. Like, if one day I'm pumped on my motherfucking brand that day, like, I'm gonna get it again. Like, I got his name on me. Like, yeah. that's just how I feel about shit, bro. Like, you can always look at me and see where I was at that point in time. Like, yeah. Yeah, for sure. And that's, that's that's pretty cool that you, like, embody that and you, <clears throat> like, really, really live with that. Because a lot of people, like, they just wanna forget. They just yeah. wanna, like, forget about, like, they past and forget about yeah. their roots and. You know, become a new. I don't know what that is, but like you seem to embrace the opposite of yeah, that. Yeah, everyone deals with shit their own way, you know. Yeah, yeah. And there's shit I want to forget too, and I might still get an ink because it still happened, bro. Like, it, it builds who you are. Can't change the past, right? Right, for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
So I want to get into the music a little bit, dude. Like, well, um, so you've been say, you said you've been doing this for seriously about what, like five years, four or five years? Seriously, tour. I want to be like, yeah, this is like my body of work. Yeah, like like five, six years. Five, six years. And that might be stretching it. Maybe like four or five years. Yeah. Okay. Can you can you speak to me a little bit about um some of your favorite songs, some of your favorite hits, like um about them and maybe what inspired them a Man. little bit, the lyrics, just kind of like the whole process. Yeah, of I feel like my favorite work is the work you haven't heard yet. Okay. And I feel like that's where you need to be. Like, like man, when we turn on the mic and we when we kick some new shit, like, that's my favorite shit because it ain't out yet. And I know how you're going to feel when you hear that shit. Like, that shit's going to be like, damn, you know, like. And then tomorrow, that's going to be my new shit. And that's going to be my favorite shit. Like, you know, I got a lot of music, bro, but everyone has their own favorites and why they chose that song and why they, they fucked with that song and why they related to that song. But like, if you're asking me like my shit, my favorite shit's the shit that hasn't dropped yet because I know the impact it's going to have on, mm. on, on the people that listen to me, you know? So what are some of your most proud songs then? Let's rephrase mm. that. Most proud? Man, I don't know. That's, that's a crazy question. <laughs> I feel like I just have such a big catalog. It's hard to like, I mean, yeah, it's pick and like choose. It. Um, Maybe the ones I choose to do videos too, cause I hate I hate being on camera, bro. Like, like dead ass, bro. I hate being on camera. So if Zoom I choose, in. yeah, <laughs> I hate being on camera. Zoom in. <laughs> so when I choose to do a video to that song, it's cause I felt like that song was gonna do something for me. So if you see a a video to a song, just know like I I felt strongly about that song, you know. So that might be like my more proud prouder moments mm -hmm. or whatever. But that's interesting because yeah. I kind of I kind of always think about that too, like. Even for mainstream artists and stuff like that, like, like, because not, not every song has a video to it. Yeah. You know, so I, I never even, like, I mean, I kind of did, but it's like, why that song and why, like, that video and, and stuff like that. So kind of leading into the question, like, what's your process of, like, making videos? Do you kind of, like, take the lyrics literally? Like, do you create a storyline? Mm. Like, like, do you, like, how involved are you within your videos? Um... I mean, when it comes to me, my nephew, which is Bones' brother, shoots. He shot all my videos so far, so mm. I kind of leave it up to him for the most part. But when it comes to me, I don't, I don't get too deep, bro. And you'll see it if you see my videos. Like I just like chilling. We'll get liquor. We'll get some girls there. I'm pretty basic, bro. Like I like letting the music speak for itself. Right. Speak for itself. So I know like the song is good, and I just need like a visual to this song. But the song's gonna work for me, like yeah. As long as we ain't doing no, like no goofy shit in the video, like I just know it's gonna be dope. Like know? you already like, did the work. Yeah, it's like the work's there. I just need you to hear the fucking song, and sometimes the video might get you there quicker, you know. So I'm just gonna give you something nice to look at, and you know, I'll let it work for itself. And you're that something nice, right? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> that very rare piece that's mm -hmm. missing, bro. For sure. <laughs> um. Fuck! I had a question for you. What the fuck was it? I, I had it in my head. I was sitting. I, I put it. I put it like right there to save, and it's gone now. <laughs> it's gone. It's now. all good. <sighs> so kind of like, what's the um, the process of you? Do you write anything, or do you all freestyle like Lil Wayne? Or nah, I don't freestyle for shit, bro. I'm just saying some stupid shit. Oh, I'm glad you said that. I don't like freestyle like, spot. Yeah, no. I write my shit, bro. Like I like when it comes to my writing process. I like being by myself. I like I don't like anyone around me when I'm writing. All right, if you call me and I gotta do something for you or I gotta do something right now, I have no problem doing that. But if I'm trying to be comfortable, I'll be at home just chilling, bro. Like in my boxers, like just writing my shit and like two a.m. type shit. Yeah. Or you know what? A lot of times my best shit to me comes when I'm at work and I'm like, fuck this job, bro. Like I gotta write some shit to get me out of here and like <clears throat> i feel like that's when i'm most motivated to write like my best shit like i'll mm -hmm. be at a job like man fuck that customer i gotta make a hit bro like <laughs> for real bro like yeah like that ass bro that's for, that's where i feel like my best shit comes from so you kind of you so it's kind of like writing like so it's like you fill in your present and you're trying to write for the future right i'm trying i'm like writing for, with the purpose bro like, i was a bar by yeah, the way for sure <laughs> you got a whole album right now bro. i got a whole album <laughs> on this sitting right here yeah. you're on the red couch yep. what was it gonna be called the the couch podcast the couch podcast yeah. Dude, it has the magic already, <laughs> dude. All your anything all, with couch in it, bro, is just funny. <laughs> all the all the time you slept on here and was grinding, bro, it's all on here, and it's like, yeah. just like coming through me, and I'm just spitting it out right now. <laughs> yeah, for <pretty> sure. <laughs> um, <laughs> vibes, bro, it's sure. the vibes. Um, 
for the uh fuck i had again dude i keep losing it and i'll ask you and then it comes back yeah <laughs> uh weird. fuck not the credit oh yeah, yeah yeah um when you start like when you decide you're gonna make a song like how long is kind of is it take for you to like from pen to paper to studio to every like how long does like even a song even take to make for man you? i say this a lot like if i don't get a song written like quick I don't know what quick is, but to me, if it's not done, like, within, like, 30 minutes, I don't fuck with it, bro. Like, and when it comes to recording it, if I can't knock the song out in, like, 10 minutes, I don't fucking want it, bro. Like, what? straight up, yeah. Like, when it comes to my verse, if right. I can't get my verse done in, like, 10 minutes, I'm just like, fuck this. It wasn't, like, I just ain't fucking with it, bro. Like, mm. straight up. So, it's real quick. Yeah, I mean, it takes time to find a beat. Like, I, I'll go through beats, and it takes that one beat to be like, all right, fuck with this beat. But when it comes to writing my shit, bro, like, if I ain't fucking with it in the first, like, 10, 15 minutes, like, I just don't want it, bro, straight up. Like, mm. I'll leave the verse up. Like, the, I mean, the chorus, like, the chorus always takes time, especially if you're trying to find a nice feature for it. I can't sing for shit. So if I need someone to sing on it, like, that's going to take a little bit. Mm. But when it comes to me personally, my verse, like, ask anybody. I ain't capping, bro. Ask anybody. You'll tell me what the song... You'll show me a song right now. Like, hey, I need you on this. I'll fucking walk out, bro. I'll be back in like 10 minutes and my shit's ready. Like, Bring if I can't do it... Yeah, if I can't do it in that time, it's just like, I don't even want to do it. Wow. Straight up, yeah. And it's not because I'm trying to be stupid. It's just like, if I don't feel it in that time, like, I just don't want to do it, bro. Like, um, straight up, yeah. That's that's the that 10-year work right there. You right. That. Yeah, and yeah, exactly, bro. Like, it took me a long time to get there. And, uh -huh. yeah. I just know what I and people when they send me something now like nowadays when they send me something to be on, it's because you did your homework, bro. Like you know, that's the beat you needed to send me. Because if you're trying to get me on some shit, that's the beat that I, you needed to send me because you know that's what I'm gonna be better on. Like, right. And it took a long time to get there, bro. Is what I'm right. trying to say. Like, yeah. Even yeah. when even when it's not my music and people send me something, they already know like this is what this is what he needs to be on if I'm trying to fuck with him. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you would sure. say like the identity of yourself as an artist is yeah. very important, not right. only for yourself but for people. For other people, book you. Sometimes people send me a beat, and I'm like, yeah, like you know, you you heard me when you played this shit. Like that's why you sent it to me, and it's mm -hmm. cool because I know that I created my own sound. Like, right? I know what I created, and you fucking heard this beat and thought of me, and yeah. it's cool to know that. You know, like it's crazy, yeah, yeah for sure. So it's, it's like it's like you're making an impact, and people are hearing yeah. your. It's like they're picking up what you're putting down. Right, for sure. Mm. Yeah. And like when so like how do you even attack beats? Do you like with a concept, with the first <laughs> word, and you just run off of them? Do you like um, find a rhythm? Like how is that even? How it just depends on on what it is. A lot of times when I when I get a beat and they name it something, I I, I might just go off of that. Like like eighty percent of the time, I'll just go off of that. Like mm. if you put a beat out and you named it some crazy shit i might just go off of that popping pancakes yeah i'll fucking rap about a pancake bro. <laughs> that bitch got a pancake booty fuck it we in here like fuck it bro like if the name if the name though. was good enough bro i might just go with that but it, uh, you know i'll play a beat and um if it just made me feel something i'll roll with that uh -huh. yeah for sure but when it comes to features like most times it already has an idea to it you know shit like that uh -huh. yeah i'm kind of hesitant to ask this question um, because it's kind of like it would be hard to answer, but yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and ask it just because I feel like you might be able to answer this. Um, how would you describe yourself? Like, how would you describe the way you like your just your sound, everything you've been talking about? How would you describe? <coughs> it? Um, I mean, what do you mean, like so my like, music? Like, how would I describe like your my style, music? You want to talk the, about the like rapping, style? okay? The sound. I don't really know. Like what when to I call think it, King bro, Trip. Like, yeah. What like what words go with King Trip? I think if you talk about King Trip, and you're gonna listen to my music, and you're gonna try to get a King Trip future, like you know, I'm just talking shit. Like, I'm never too serious, bro. You're not gonna hear me talking about like some like deep shit. Mm -hmm. I'm never gonna go too deep. Like, I'm never gonna really be on some life shit. Yeah, that's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, shit's <laughs> never too serious, bro. Like, so turn up, bro. Shit. Like, I'm just I, if look at my Instagram and. In the bio, it says professional shit talker, bro. Like, I just feel like that's where I'm at. Like, mm. I'll never be too serious just because I'm. I don't take myself too serious, bro. Like, mm. straight up. Like, okay, okay. I don't take. I take the serious shit serious behind the scenes, and I don't really let people in on that, bro. Like, what you get from me is like I talk shit. I'm having fun, and that's what you're gonna get from me. Straight uh -huh. up, yeah. Like, 
Yeah. So it'll be just like some turn up shit. You're always gonna get turn up shit. It's always gonna be about some. It's always gonna be about chicks. It's always gonna be about partying. It's always gonna be like. Cause I feel like that's what I look for, bro. When I hear some shit, like I ain't trying to be depressed when I hear some music, bro. Like I'm, I'm trying to hear some nice turn up shit, and in return, that's what I'm trying to give back. Right. So when you think about King Trip and my music, like that's what you're gonna get. Mm. Yeah. Okay. 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 So we we about to bounce when we hear your shit. For sure. You should be slapping yeah. in the club. It's always gonna be like some player shit. Like I told you, like that was my inspiration to begin with. So I feel like I never really leave that. Right, that okay. world, bro. That's like, cool though. That's good that yeah. you like, you know, you know your lane, you stay in that yeah, lane. For sure. And you can strive in that lane. Yeah. Who is I try not people? to be like uncomfortable, bro. Like, you know, if they might send me a song here and there where it's like deep and I'm just like, oh shit. Like, you know, this this homie right here might do more justice to this and I'll I'll be like, Hey, if you get him on it, he might kill it more. Like I'm not even gonna lie to you. Like Yeah. You know, I, I have no problem saying that shit, bro. Like mm. straight up, yeah. That's good though. I mean, cause like that's just trial and tribulations on it, man, because yeah. You don't want to hop on some shit you're not going to sound good on. Right, exactly. Why would you want to do that to yourself, though? You know, like, <laughs> yeah, you want to sound good, bro, like, straight up. Especially, I feel like artists, like, it's, like, reputation and image is, like, yeah. a big deal. And you don't want to, like, be yeah, clowned on sure. some shit. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Do you ever feel um, competition? How, like, how big is competitiveness in, in your, like, lane? Do you feel the competition? Like, you, like, you hear, like, someone hit a bar, you're going to want to hit it harder, or you're just like, man, that's cool. Let me, I'm just going to do my own shit. Like, or do you kind of feel <laughs> the competition, like, when you're, like, shit. Hitting, hit, spitting bars and shit? I don't know. I'm, I mean, loc- I feel like the competition is always, like, locally. Like, you're trying to make it out of here, so the competition locally. I don't want to be a dick, but I don't, I don't feel like there's competition, honestly. I listen to music, and it's not even, like, when I listen to music, it ain't local music. Like, it, it's fucking, like, it's mainstream shit that I'm fucking with. And when I hear the mainstream shit, I don't feel like I, I can't be in that session and, like... Not kill. Bro, like, I don't feel like I could... And, and, like, whatever I'm listening to that week, I don't feel like I couldn't have been in that session and kept up with that song. Like, I could be on this fucking song, you know? Like, that's how I feel about shit. Okay. Yeah, so, I mean, it's, there's always competition. There's always people that are better or whatever, like, people that could keep up and shit. I just, I don't feel threatened by it, bro. Like, put me anywhere, and I'm going to spit some shit that they're going to keep, bro. Like, they're not going <laughs> to be like, nah, I'm good off that verse. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, I always feel like I could have kept up with that. Like, right. Yeah, for sure. What is the, what is the mainstream shit you be listening to? Yeah, I, I listen to a little bit of everything, bro, honestly. Mm, shit. Tight all the time? Nah, you, I like Tari Dolla Sign as a feature. His you know, feature? His he's the feature is he the feature work. goat? He might be because he's like Nate Dogg, bro. Like, you just can't go wrong with that shit, you know? But it, when it comes to me, I switch up all the time. But I feel like right now I'm listening to a lot of, like, like Shoreline. I'm listening to a lot of, like, Mike Sherm, SOB, like... SOB, that gang? Yeah, yeah, they yeah. Go that's where I'm at right now. That. But honestly, like, in, if I listen to more, like, rock and shit than I do rap, bro, honestly. Really? Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah, I listen to Spanish shit. Like, I listen to a lot of shit, bro. Bad Bunny like, and all that? Yeah, I fuck with Osuna. Bad Bunny and all that shit. Yeah, I've been listening to a lot of, like, Nathaniel Cano and shit. Like, uh, I'm everywhere, bro. Like, I'm okay, just, okay. it just depends where I'm at that day. But it's all hitting, though, right? Isn't it, like, all hitting? It's music? all hitting, yeah. I listen to a lot of underground shit, too. It's just, um, I just try to keep up, bro. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I feel like I'm always just tied in to new shit. Like, I'm always moving, bro. I try to evolve. So, when I hear new shit, it's inspiring, bro. Like, I know a lot of people knock the new shit like, oh, I ain't fucking with that, bro. Like, oh. yeah. I like new shit, bro, because new shit just opens up new fucking worlds to me. Like, yeah. yeah, you know, like, yeah, I like new shit. I like keeping up with the new shit and shit, but yeah. How constant are you with putting out songs? Because I know, like, the baby, um, yeah. I was listening to him on an interview on Breakfast Club, and he was saying, he's like, because him, his speed is like, whenever I'm tired, ty- whenever I don't hear anything that I don't like anymore, I put out an album. How yeah. do you, how, like, how, like, how often are you putting out music? I think, man, I put out something at least, like, every two to three weeks. I'll drop something, a single. As far as projects, that takes a little longer to put together. But, like, a single, if I feel like I've been quiet for too long, I'll drop something, which is, like, three weeks, probably the longest. Like, every, like, three weeks to a month, you'll hear something from me. And there might be a day where I drop, like, four on you that day. You know, it just... If man, I don't even feel like I had to record right now. If I could go right now and I didn't have to record for like at least a couple months, I could keep dropping shit on you because I got shit recorded. Like you got in the catalog. Yeah, yeah, I got shit. I could just wrap up, mix, or like add something to and drop. Like, mm. 
But you're going to get something from me at least once a month. Uh-huh. Yeah, for sure. Okay, okay, okay. If you had a chance to make um, a song with anybody right now in the game, who would it be? Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> I always ask people that shit, too. That's a good question. Eh? I song? don't know. <laughs> I really don't question. know because the list is so big, bro. Like, shit. Today, though, today, if I was trying to up my reputation in my catalog, where I'm at right now, I feel like if I got... If I got some shit right now with, like, Shoreline or something, like I was telling you, like, I feel like that would work for me. Like, that would work for me where I'm at. If I got some shit with, like, Shoreline or SOB, or like, these people I just told you, like, I feel like that's what would work for me right now, today. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Okay. But, like, if I only had one shot, that's fucking crazy. I don't know. Who I was waiting for the butt, bro. Who is it? Who is it? I, I don't need know, it here, bro. bro you want to say it. I like, I like having, <laughs> like, a top ten more. Like, if you had ten people you could fuck with, who you fuck? Because it's hard, bro. Uh-huh. If you were going to have a dinner party and the invitation for everybody was o- was going to okay, but you can only invite three artists, who would you invite to your little dinner party? Your kickback. Shit, like dead or alive or like alive? Let's just do alive. Alive? Right now. Dinner party? Shit, bro. I'd want to get three people in there that are just going to like move me up. Like they're going to give me... Some advice that would be life changing. Yeah, you Shit. could have a sit down with three people right now. Fuck, bro. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> he causes it. Little, little bones. Little bones. bones. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, shit, bro. I'd probably tap in with people that are moving right now. Like, who's moving right now? Like, fucking, uh. Nah, bro. It don't even. I don't even think it'd be music people, bro. Like, nah. I'd look for, like, the top, like, entrepreneur people like the top business owners like Gary the top three motherfuckers that are just like moving and stacking bro and i'm just gonna be like how the fuck did you get there bro and what Gary and if Vee, charlamagne the god andrew schultz that'll yeah. be my three charlamagne the god that's crazy i fuck with charlamagne though i just i think more like business shit bro like hey they just <laughs> do charlamagne the god just uh, uh he just released his uh his podcast network called Black Effect. Did he? Oh, okay. And then Gary Vee's always on his shit. And Andrew Schultz, he's cooking up something crazy right now. And he's he's killing the podcast game. I'm thinking like Mark Cuban. Like, you know, like people <laughs> that are just like... Bill Gates? Bill Gates, bro. Like, And I'm just going to be like, how'd you Donald get Trump? there? And if I just don't understand it, like, <laughs> what the fuck can I do right now to like be down, bro? Like, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah. Whatever I can do to put me in a position to provide for others, bro. That's mm. what I'd want to do straight up. I don't even think I'd have dinners with rap. I could do rap, bro. Rap ain't the fucking problem, bro. Mm. Like, I'm trying to get that big bag, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, for sure. And do you ever look into, like, uh, stocks or anything like that? I've been thinking about it. I've never looked into it. I'm not even going to cap, bro. Me but... neither. I always say I'm going yeah. to do it, but I never do. Yeah. But maybe we should, though. Maybe we should, you know? Straight up. Yeah. Because I don't know shit, but, like, I feel like from what from things I don't know, yeah. I feel like... It is a good place to go. Yeah, yeah. And I got that from another local artist, Diallo. Like, I was watching him talk about it for a little bit, and I was like, man, I need to tap into that, you know? Yeah. Yeah, so, for sure. There's definitely something there. Yep. Definitely something there. No pyramid schemes type shit. Have you ever been caught nah. in a pyramid scheme? <laughs> yeah, bro. Like, nah. <laughs> bro, I feel like I was okay, a part uh, of a pyramid A-Wan? scheme no. at one point. <laughs> yeah. I was, so I was working for um, this place called, <laughs> I was going to say, uh, Victory Solutions Enterprise. Yeah. And I was doing sales for direct TV inside of Costco. Yeah. I was one of those. The pit, We had to pitch people like, hey, how's it going? Yeah. You don't mind me asking um, who's your internet and TV provider? Yeah, to bug the shit out of people. Yeah, <laughs> I was that guy, bro. Yeah. I was out. Th- I did make some sales, but honestly, though, it feels fishy. <laughs> yeah. <You know? laughs> I've sure. seen some of those, like, parody videos where they're, like, um, like, react, like, like, when you get caught in a pyramid scheme and shit, and like they'll be making fun of it and stuff, and I'm like, yo, that's exactly how it was. Like, yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> it was cra- sure. yeah, it was weird. It was definitely weird. Have you ever done like sales or anything like that? Nah, I just I don't feel like I believed in it enough to be a part of it. Mm-hmm. I've been caught in like the convo where I'm the one being talked to, trying to trying to be sold some shit too, but nah. Yeah. yeah. Never got you. Nah, I feel like I watch too many movies and shit, bro. I just be clowning like, man, I ain't seeing right there, dog. Like, <laughs> you know, like, yeah. <laughs> but nah, I don't feel like I've been caught up in that shit. Oh. How do you feel know. about uh, uh, 
uh, have you ever seen the social dilemma? No. No, I've never seen that. Uh-huh. It's talking about like the algorithm, and the reason why I bring that up is because, uh, uh, like how the algorithm works is like um, based on like how many comments you get, how much likes, how much engagement, things like that. Yeah. And then I go into further. Um, I was talking about I was listening to a podcast called Flagrant Toots with Andrew Schultz, um, and and in the gang and. And they were going over like um, polarization, yeah. And how they're talking about how like Donald Trump is po- very polarizing, Kanye West is very polarizing, mm-hmm. um, and then they're talking about how like the need for polarization to rise up in the social media world, in this internet sensation, yeah. You need some type of polarization, yeah. Because um, like for Andrew Schultz, it was like he would take like kind of like. He would take some wild stances and say some wild things. He yeah. was a comedian. That's what, kind of what comedians do. Yeah. And he would rise because he would take these stances and in his comments, people would be arguing them, uh, arguing about them. Yeah. And so, like, and then you see a person like 6 9 Yeah. who's very polarizing. He's right. basically like the Donald Trump if he was a music right. artist. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and you see that. And you see his quick rise and everything. Do you ever like think like like what do you think about that whole thing in the music in the music industry and polarization? Do you ever kind of like think about some more edgier stuff to kind of like provoke people? Not provoke people into like anger, but provoke people to like talk and yeah, yeah. and you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Nah, I understand it because that's the world we live in now. Like yeah, that's why six nine is so popping. You know. When it comes to him, because he's just fucking trolling the fucking galaxy, bro. Like, I get it. The galaxy. <laughs> I know why he's popping. I know why he's in the fucking news and shit and yeah. why you hear about him so much. But do I want to fucking be there? It, it sucks that that's where you have to be and that's what you have to do to fucking. Because everyone you name, like most people, like even Kanye, like, you hear about him a lot, but it's not good shit that you're hearing, you know? Like, it just sucks that a lot of times that, that, that's what it takes now to be fucking popping, like, yeah. a lot of negative shit, it seems like. You- uh, I understand it. I definitely understand it. I don't feel like it's something I want to fucking do, but I get it, though, mm-hmm. for sure, yeah. I get that's what you need to do to, like, you need to be in the media fucking somehow, you know, like, right. yeah, for sure. All publicity is good publicity, right? Right, for sure. <laughs> if I ended up in some shit like that, then cool, fucking go listen to my shit, but... I'm not making it my mission to be on there and be fucking hated and shit, like, just to get publicity, you know? Yeah. Do you think Kanye West is an idiot? Nah, I I'm, I don't get too deep on that. I mean, if you really sit there and listen to his shit, like, he could make sense. I don't think he's, like, fucking nuts. I just think he, he chewed it. I don't know. He's, like, he looks fucking crazy, but then when you really listen to it, he's not that fucking crazy. Like, I don't know. <laughs> it all depends on your own beliefs and shit. Too. Yeah, like yeah. I'm glad he put it that way, dude, because I felt like an idiot. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. he was on Joe Rogan. I don't know if you're familiar with who yeah, Joe Rogan yeah. is. Um, one of the top podcasters, and he had Kanye West on. Yeah, and I listened to the entire thing, and I was like, "Yo, at that Kanye West is kind of smart. He's kind of genius. Yeah, the way he thinks, the way he just kind of like." It's kind of like it's just like just flying out of him, and he's just yeah. flying. And you know what I mean? Like it's crazy, like how the way he thinks, and and like I think um, Joe Rogan actually said it best on another episode later on that when you cut parts of what Kanye says, he sounds crazy. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, he sounds wild. Yeah. It sounds like what the fuck are you talking about type yeah. of thing. But when you listen to the entirety of the, all, everything, it's kind of like, yo, this dude is really thinking in ways that like. He's just being woke, you know. Woke and you could fun. chop that up to sound fucking nuts. Yeah. Yeah. For it's sure. insane. Yeah. Yeah. And no, I, I don't know why it. I brought that up. I was just kind of. No, I get it. Yeah. Like, got it in there. You could listen to a whole ass convo and it's like, shit. That makes sense in a crazy ass way. But if we take this one five minutes of it, it might be like, this full fucking nuts, bro. Like, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And it, it's funny that you like can clip things that way, though. Yeah. Because like, even myself, when I go to like clip some things, I'm like I'm looking at like fine clips, right? Because then you need like any for like one minute and or like two to three minutes, and you're looking to clip like from this fucking hour long conversation yeah. to clip like two minutes, yeah. right? And you're just like, and then when you clip it out, it feels different. Yeah. Like when I like I clip it out, 
and you take it from the entirety of the episode and then you really just watch the clip you're like this seems like it just it feels funnier or it feels goofier or it feels yeah. more serious it's weird because when you take it out of context yeah everything gets distorted no nah, yeah i get that. that that's how they reel you in though because <laughs> i could sit here and be like fuck everybody fuck bones Fuck you and this podcast. And, I'm and like, and that. you cut it up. This fool said, "Fuck everybody." <laughs> but like prior that. to that, I was just giving you an example because I could be like, "Fuck everybody." I'm but I don't mean that, that shit. You know? Yeah, exactly. You can <laughs> call it that. This motherfucker said, "Fuck everybody," and that's just how they work, shit, bro. Like, yeah, straight yeah. up. Yeah, like. So yeah, I mean, it gets me to look at. Oh, this motherfucker went crazy. I'm trying to watch this shit. Yeah. But if you really take the time to watch the whole shit. He might be making the most sense, bro. And that's what they don't want you to see at this point. Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So speaking about all that, like how do you feel your fan base takes you and reacts to you? I feel like, um, shit, they know what they're getting when it comes to me, bro. Like like I said, I just be talking shit. You're not going to come to me for some no serious shit. You're not going to come to me for no, like, you know, yeah. you ain't going to come to me for no advice. Have you like, even tried? serious shit and like have you ever like dabbled in that you know what's crazy i feel like when you talk to me you could get that but if you're going to my music specifically you're not gonna get that Mm -hmm. because i don't do that bro like i'm talking shit i'm have i have fun on my music bro i have fun i say the shit i can't be saying in real life like i can't be talking to people and be like yeah your bitch this and your bitch that bro and i'm right here doing this and like so i have fun on my music and i take advantage of the fact that i could do that bro Uh so if you're gonna come listen to my music you know you're going to go look up King Trip on Spotify, iTunes, Pandora. Nah. You're going to go look <laughs> Yo, me up. Yeah. <laughs> you're going to go look me up to find fun shit, bro, and I'm talking shit and I'm having fun and mm. that's what you're looking for. Right. You know, so I feel like my fan base knows that like Okay. And it's crazy cuz I feel like like it's I was having this combo earlier with my coworker and shit like Everywhere I go now, it's like at least at least once or twice a day, like someone recognizes me now, and they're just like, and they bring up like some crazy shit that I said, like that shit's hard, or like you're in the video with bitches, you're playing, like, like it's crazy, bro, like, and that's what they look for when they look for me, like you right. know, yeah. So you, I know where I'm at, bro. Like I know yeah. what I'm putting out there. I know where I'm at. And when you when you're looking for a king trip, that's what you're gonna get. Right. You know? Yeah, for sure. So I. I'll kind of I'll end on this question right here because yeah. it's kind of a thing I brought up to Lil Bones like and and other in other words but and so but it sounds like it's gonna be an opposite answer but so do you think like what what's your real name again if you don't mind Ivan Ivan yeah. so do you, do you feel like you Ivan are separated from King Trip or do you think it's just kind of one or do you <coughs> um, feel like there's a persona there Nah because Ivan works bro I have I have a job two jobs I have kids I have a girlfriend bro like I have a family and um King Trip is on videos with bitches bro and and you know ooh, we're partying bottles and like if you look at my page if you look at where you can follow me you might not see my kids bro you not my, you might not see my girlfriend you might not see uh my everyday life but, you know, I still live that life, bro. Like, I, I fucking work, bro. I have kids. I, I have shit I got to do besides music. So if you're following my music, I might just be giving you my music shit. So I kind of am like two people. Okay. So when I'm doing something and I'm, like, in public and chilling and, like, someone comes up to me, hey, what's up, bro? Like, I kind of got to figure out who I got to be, you know, in that moment. Like, yeah. yeah. I don't feel like I'm being fake. I am King Trip, bro. I am the shit I talk about. <clears throat> but I'm just, I'm just, uh, I keep certain shit to myself. Like, I don't need to share my family and shit with everybody or my right. problems with everybody. You know what I mean? So, I guess in a sense, you are two people, you know, because I'm not in the fucking streets all day, like, eh, hey, drinking and fucking bitches all over me, you know? <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like, so I am two people, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, for okay. sure. But, um, I don't feel like I'm being fake or I'm selling you something I'm not in my music and shit. Like, okay, yeah, it's just it might just be like a what do they call that um, persona, like an alter ego. Yeah, not a persona because I feel like a persona is like fake, bro. Like, I'm not telling you shit in my music that I don't fucking do. I don't say. I have never been around. Like, yeah. I'm not gonna give you that. <clears throat> but uh, when it comes to to Ivan in my real life, like. There's more to it that you might not be getting in the right. music. You know right. what I mean? Like, yeah, for okay. sure. Yeah. 
So actually, I got one more question then. Yeah. Because, I mean, even for me sometimes, because um, you know, on the mic, I like to be. I'm A K O M G. Yeah. You know, and then but I'm I'm Anthony in real life, right? For sure. Um. So speaking of like people like me, speaking of like artists, all that stuff, like, what would you say like or like how have you've because you've done ten years of this, so like how yeah. would you how have you've balanced the two, and how do you kind of feel? How do you keep the authenticity? In between two lives like that, <laughs> you gotta you gotta learn how to do that for sure, bro. You gotta learn how to do that, and uh, I find that a lot. And and when I meet like the younger kids rapping or the like the younger people trying to do shit, and they're like, "Fuck, I would show up to the studio, bro, but my girl's tripping, like, or like, fuck, I can't rap no more because I said some shit about some chicks." And it's like, you gotta find a way to balance shit, bro. Like me personally, I, I you know. My family knows business is business, music is music. Like, just because you've been through shit doesn't mean you're still doing shit. Right, so you're telling stories, line. bro. Like, you're telling stories for people that can't tell these stories. You have that talent, and you could say this shit. Like, so I mean, you just gotta figure out a way to like. If you have a girlfriend, bro, you gotta, you gotta. She has to know like you're talking shit because you've been through shit. You know shit, but it doesn't mean you're doing this shit. You know, like, when it has, when you have kids, bro, like, don't be fucking sitting on the mic. I'm going to fucking kill everybody, bro. Because when you're at the fucking mall with your kids, bro, like, these motherfuckers are right here. Like, before you just say you're going to kill everybody, like, you don't know. You got to learn how to balance shit, bro. Like, straight up. <clears throat> you just got to, like I said, it takes a long time to find yourself. You got to find yourself. You got to figure out what you want to say and what you don't want to say. Mm. <clears throat> and you got to learn how to balance that shit, bro. You got to make it work for you, like. Don't do too much, bro. If I if I'm fucking working today and I can't be at a fucking video shoot, I ain't gonna quit my fucking job and not get money to pay my bills to go be at this video shoot. Like you just gotta balance everything, bro. Like straight up. And I feel like that's the only way you're gonna make it. You gotta find balance, and you gotta and that's that's a personal balance. One person's balance is not the other, so you gotta just figure out what works mm -hmm. for you. Master that shit and use it to your advantage. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 for sure. Great bars right there, dude. I think it's a great place to end right here. Um, how I like to end the show is, is I like to hand over the mic to my guest, give them one last words to the audience, <coughs> to them future selves, to whoever it is. Um, just kind of like, kind of like your last words, yeah. uninterrupted, where I won't say anything until you hand it back to me, and then yeah. at that point I'll go ahead and end the show. So King Trip, go ahead and say your last words here, man. All I want to say is shit. Just look for me. Look for something you like. If you're going to look for me, I got hella shit. Like, don't give up on one track. I got hella shit. I got hundreds of songs. I'm confident that you'll find something you like. Look up King Trip on any platform. I make sure I'm on any platform. YouTube, Spotify, iTunes, anywhere, Instagram. Look up King Trip, and I got something for you. Look up anyone who's on my team because they got something for you. Look up Absurd. Look up Lil Bones, Bizzle the Hustler, P-Love. Just anyone involved with me has something good for you. And I guarantee you're going to fuck with it. And if you need if you need to sound right, I don't care where you're from, come to Room 33 and Lil Bones will have you sounding right. Straight up. And that's where I'm going to leave it at. I'll let, the, I'll let the work speak for itself. Oh, yeah. All right. All right, man. That has been King Trip on this week's episode. I hope you enjoyed that, guys. There's definitely some gems in there. I hope you picked them up. If not, play this back. Yes, <laughs> but if sir. anything, go ahead and go to the YouTube so you can check out um, what he looks like, what, what the studio looks like, everything about it, man. Go ahead and really take in that full experience. Um, but until next week, man, I'll talk to y'all later. It's been your host, a.k.a. OMG on the mic, and that's a sit-down podcast. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace. Yeah.